this week I want to build a small shed to store these trash cans in. So that's what I'm going to do. I started by going to the store and grabbing all the material I need to build the project. I'm mainly using fence pickets for the build because they're relatively cheap and it allowed me to keep the price of the project down. Since I'm going to be working outside, I just stacked all my material close by. I started by grabbing three treated 2x4s and cutting them to length. These are going to be the skids that the shed is actually going to be sitting on. After cutting all three to length, I placed them in the area that I wanted the shed to be located and leveled the ground in that area so that the shed would be sitting level. Next I started cutting the boards that I'll attach to the skids to make up the platform, or the base. And I cut these to have a beveled front. I was able to get two cuts from one board, and I used a stop block in my multi stand in order to make sure that all of these boards were the exact same length. To make attaching these boards to the skids easiest, I used a spacer. I would first place the spacer in the back and nail the boards to the skids, then I would move the spacer up front and repeat. When it came to attaching the last board, I ended up needing to cut it down so that it would be flush. So I moved my work center outside and put in the table saw attachment. Then I was able to rip the board down to the exact width I needed it and then attach it. With the platform done, I was now able to start building the walls. And I took the time to make a cut list before beginning the project. So I very quickly cut all of my boards to size using the miter saw. I use the platform as a work surface and I use construction adhesive as well as my framing nailer here. And that is one side complete. After I got the first side done, I just repeated the process to make an identical second side. With both of the sides built, I attached them to the platform. And at this point, I switched to using screws instead of the framing nailer. With the sides in place, I started attaching some horizontal supports. First going to the bottom back and attaching one directly to the platform, then moving to the front and attaching it to the sides. To attach this front brace, I first attached the left side, then when I moved to the right, I made sure to put a level on the inside of the side to get it in plumb before attaching this right side. And just to make sure I was on the right track, I decided to test fit the trash can and make sure that it fit fine. It looks good, so I continued making the side. For this top plate, I kind of cheated. I would set it in place, then used a pencil to trace where I needed a cut on the front to make it flush. After cutting it to length, I used glue and screws to attach it. With the framing of the sides now completed, I added in one last horizontal support on the back, but this time near the top. To attach these, I toenailed in some screws and I did it on the inside. To make it just a little bit easier, I first used a countersink bit to create a, um, I guess, a, a sort of pocket hole. Then I came back with my screw and impact. Then the last framing member I added in was a top plate on the front. Now that the framing was done, I grabbed my fence picket, set up a stop block, and started attaching them as siding. I didn't add a space on these because I know that the fence pickets will eventually shrink and create a space of their own. So I butted them up against one another and used screws to attach it to the top and bottom. When it came time to attach the last one, I used my work center once again to rip it down flush. Once I had the back complete, I repeated the process on both of the sides. So whenever I put on this top seal, I took plumb this way and made sure that these two sides were plumb this way. Now that I'm going to be putting on the siding, I'm putting a level here and making sure that they're plumb this way. They're a little bit out of plumb by about that much. So I'm going to put it in plumb, put a temporary cross brace to keep it in plumb while I'm doing the siding. I first went to the bottom corner and attached the temporary brace using two screws. Then I moved up to the top and made sure that it was in plumb. Then I attached it temporarily using two screws. When I was adding the pickets to the sides, I would line it up flush with the bottom and leave all of the extra material hanging off the top because then after I got the entire side skinned, I would come back with my jigsaw and cut it off to be flush. Well, the first side I used my jigsaw. When I got done with the second side, I used my router with a flush trim bit in it to cut it off. And this way actually worked a lot better than using the jigsaw. Once both of the sides were finished, I removed the temporary braces. And at this point, I decided to add in another brace along the back in the middle. Once I had it attached, I moved to the back and attached all of the back pickets to the center brace. 
it's about to start raining and it's apparently supposed to be raining for the next few days so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the project here and split it into two parts so for part two I will be doing the trim uh, doing the two double doors as well as the two lids so stay tuned if you are interested now I do already have the full set of plans available on my website so if you're interested in building one then I have left you a link in the description of the video also in the description is a link to everything that I've used so far in the project and I guess I will see you whenever it's not raining.